Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mosasaurus and Diver from the Imaginex Jurassic World line. Um, I love this thing. It's another aquatic dinosaur. It has giant fins and it has crazy crocodile teeth. We'll get into it. But really, really excited to pick this up. I found it at Toys R Us today. The Jurassic World Imaginex stuff is new. It's kind of just starting to trickle out into stores. Uh, the movie comes out this summer. So very excited to check that out and very excited to check these sets out. Look at this giant, massive croc jaws this thing has. Super cool. Very excited for this. So it says, uh, is this diver crazy? He, he, la la la, I can talk, I promise. I can even read sometimes. Is this diver crazy? He is if he's planning to swim in Jurassic World Lagoon with his giant ferocious Mosasaurus armed only with a harpoon. Brave Jurassic World explorers will be thrilled to reenact scenes from the movie or create all new spine-tingling adventures. See? I can read. Uh, so you press the button on the back to open the jaws, which of course we'll take a look at. Very cool. I know that these uh, sets don't all come with like named figures. A lot of them are just kind of like random scientist or random park worker. But I think the dinosaur is more than enough to make up for the fact that it's just kind of a random park employee. But let's get these guys out of the packaging so we can take a closer look. All right, so here we have the Mosasaurus and Diver out of the packaging here. We'll get this guy out of the way. He's, uh, he's perfectly good, but obviously not as exciting as the dino. So he's got this kind of scuba apparatus that you can slide over his head. And basically how this works, you can see it's got the breathing face mask, the goggles built in. On the back, it's got a little oxygen tank with an Imaginex symbol, which is pretty cool. And then, like I said, it just slides over his head. Here is the figure. Normal kind of face, got the cool JP logo there on his chest. Head can swivel side to side. Normal shoulder spin around plus up and down hinge. Normal wrist swivel. And then you have the 90 degrees at the waist. So pretty much basic. Love his built-in flippers, though. I think that's really cool. I also like how when you look underneath, you can see where the foot normally would be. And then they just have the big flipper over top of it. So, But he's nicely painted. You know, the, uh, the kind of dark gunmetal gray with the blue and the yellow all kind of works together, in my opinion. And then you just pop this over and it covers up his face with his scuba gear. And then he's got this gigantic kind of harpoon with some rope attached or some cable. It's not really a harpoon gun because it's just one harpoon with this rope attached. So I don't know. I don't know what this really gets him. I guess he holds it here. You can insert that part into his hand and then he's just got all this extra cable. I don't know. So I don't I don't know what's going on with the accessory. It's visually neat, but uh, practically I I don't know what it's used for. It will be one thing if like this guy had little connections all over him to you know insert the harpoon. I mean, I guess these were uh the little connections that were used to secure it to the packaging. Those little plastic things you have to turn and pull out. So I guess you could kind of jam the the harpoon in there if he's underwater and I don't know. Get creative with it, I guess. But the Mosasaurus is absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, I love the color scheme. You know, the kind of three different shades of blue uh, really work. He's got those creepy, like, uh, lizard eyes that kind of follow you wherever they go because of the lens they put in there, which is really creepy and neat. I like that a lot. Um, otherwise you have four flippers that all have similar joints to like the shoulder joint in the figure that we just looked at. So they can spin all the way around and then they also have a hinge up and down like that. I think that's great. That's a really nice amount of articulation for these flippers, these fins. Really, really well done in my opinion. This one has the, uh, Jurassic Park logo on the bottom, as you can see right there. And then the tail has three points of articulation. I'm sorry, I lied. It's only two. But there's a swivel here, and then there's a second swivel right here. So that can get some really nice range of motion in the tail. Really, really nice. But the best part of the whole dino fig, pressing this button down, he is ready to chomp. 
And I mean, that is a huge uh, chomp. I have to say, like, the, the jaw spread is massive. I mean, you can't complain. And then they have the really nice painted tongue inside. It's just really well done. I mean, you can totally grab a hold of the figure, chomp down on him. Here, let me get the harpoon out of his hand. It's a little difficult with the flippers, but if you put this part of the guy in there, you can chomp down on him. I will say that it doesn't make it easy. He just kind of naturally falls out just because of how the, you know, the inside of the mouth and everything is. Maybe if I take the gear off, it'll be a little bit easier. So that is one thing that's a little bit of a bummer. I kind of wish it was easier for the figure to stay chomped in there. There you go. You can get a good grip on it that way. And he's not falling out. So it's all about just positioning. But I just really think that that's a massive grip. It reminds me of that scene in the movie when the pterodactyl's up in the sky and he just comes out of the water. <laughs> bites the pterodactyl out of the sky. It's a really cool scene. But yeah, I, I absolutely love this dinosaur. I think they did a fantastic job with this. The fact that you have so many points of articulation in the tail and the individual fins, as well as the chomping gimmick for the mouth and those creepy eyes that they think they've been doing them for all the dinosaurs now. And it's just really, really cool. Such a subtle thing to do, but it makes for a really neat effect. So I definitely recommend this set if you guys can find it. I think uh, once these are officially out, they're going to be everywhere and should be readily available. But it's definitely a really good set. I can't get this gun uh, harpoon back in his hand here. So yes, I can't recommend this set enough. I think all the dinosaurs are going to be really cool by the time this line's done. But this is definitely one to pick up for sure. I believe this retails for about $14.99. So it's kind of that standard second tier pricing. Um, the, usually the two packs or like the figure and one accessory or one vehicle and figure usually somewhere in that like you know anywhere between 588 and 799 depending on where you pick them up these are usually 1499 target and walmart or maybe 1699 toys r us but if toys r us is on sale because it's gone out of business 10 percent off you're kind of back in the 15 dollar range so i think this set is totally worth it i definitely recommend it one of the best dinosaurs i've seen from imagine x so far and little diver guy is cool not the reason you'd buy the set in my opinion but decent all the same so let me know what you guys think in the comments below please like and share the video and please subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this look at the mosasaurus and diver set from jurassic world imagine next and as always guys thank you so much for watching